It's winter, it's cold outside and you have to cut the wood, but your super heavy jacket got lost. You have two options, you cut the wood tomorrow or you could use a polar fleece jacket. Polar fleece fabric, a fantastic invention that everybody has. Perhaps a neck warmer or a jacket or why not a pair of trousers or a cloth diaper. Polar fleece fabrics are everywhere but have you ever wondered how these fabrics are manufactured? Let's see more in details. Polar fleece garments are generally made of polyester, that horrible synthetic polymer that comes from crude oil practically. Polar fleece, now Polar Tech, was invented by Molden Mills Industries in the 80s. The company was founded in 1906 in Massachusetts and owned by Feuerstein family until bankruptcy in 2007. The company became famous in 1995 due to a big fire that completely burned the company and all its three buildings down to ashes. Fire that broke out at Malden Mills in the winter of 95 was the largest fire Massachusetts had seen for a century. And this guy, Aaron Feuerstein, who continued to pay his workers even after the factory burned. For this reason, he was nicknamed the Mensch of Molden Mills. Okay, now that we can boast about the history of polar fleece fabric at the pub with friends and family, how is fleece produced? I have a fleece jacket over here and a linen tester and through the linen tester we will see how fleece is produced. We can instantly see that it's not a conventional fabric like a plain weave or a jersey. It's hairy and fluffy, we can't see the structure of the yarns. No worries, let's see how it's produced step by step. Poro fleece fabrics are made of polyester in 99.9% .9 of the cases. Polyester yarns used are conventional yarns. So, so far nothing new. Polar fleece fabrics are knitted fabrics. The yarns are indeed knitted through, most of the times, circular machines. These machines are indeed faster than grandma and can knit up to 100 or 200 meters of fabrics per hour. Circular knitting machines are like socks machines, but bigger. The stitch is not a conventional jersey, rib or interlock, it's called fleece stitch and it's made by charging the needle with more yarns, normally three, one for the ground or face, one for the tie or binding and one fleecy for the back, which will be raised to create the actual fleece. This fabric is then washed and generally finished with water repellent chemicals. At this point, fleece fabric is not fleecy at all, it has all the loops on the back, basically like a terry cloth. We need a process called napping to have the actual fleece fabric. Napping is a technique that uses tiny brushes to break the loops and to carefully obtain a true fleece without breaking the base of the knitted fabric. Polar fleece fabric have fantastic features guys, such as softness, tightness. Take into account that to create a fleece fabric you need three yarns, so three yarns mean more weight. Don't expect a fleece fabric as light as a tool. Anyway, moisture resistant, easy to wash, quick drying, since the synthetic and thermal insulation. This last property is particularly interesting because the fleece that we have created creates small air pockets through the raised fibers. These pockets entrap the air and the air is fantastic thermal insulator. These air pockets grant thermal insulation and don't weigh on the skin. Since there is no material, it's just air. Fleece fabrics have been used for years for several several fields, such as technical sportswear, throws, jackets, socks and garments in general. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below along with my email, reddit and so on. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.